What's up guys? So today we're going to be looking at all the rust on Project 4 Banger. I just want to see where we're at. So once it warms up here, then I kind of, kind of have a game plan on where the rust is, where we're going to have to fix. So we're just going to be looking underneath the Jeep here and just kind of seeing uh, what we have to deal with. So, so we got the Jeep. Uh, boy, this is probably 2014 or 2015. So when we got it, it really didn't have much rust at all. Um, and this is just kind of that many years of Wisconsin winters have just destroyed <clears throat> part of it anyway. So, But hopefully we'll be able to fix most of this. So if you look, so if you look up here, this is all pretty good. Just only minor rust, uh, surface rust up there. But the frame looks good. The, you know, going forward here, uh, the axles don't look bad. Everything looks pretty good. <sighs> Got to fix that part there on the frame, as well as here as well. Just clean that up. The body mounts of the frame that looks good. This is where it gets kind of gnarly it's right here this here this is another kind of a rough spot back of the frame looks okay so this looks where all the holes are looks like there's problems so the worst part is going to be the body here so if you look here not too bad this will all be pretty easily fixed just some bubbling rust through here pretty big patch here so we'll be able to uh, sand and get that pretty good I think but the worst part is gonna, it's gonna be here underneath right here is pretty bad too it's just completely gone here so the, it's kind of getting bad here as well. So this is probably the worst rust on the Jeep is on the this like frame, this like body rail area, and then up in here. So, but other than that, under like underneath here, the frame looks great. So that's not too bad. Um, but we definitely want to keep up on it before it gets, you know, bad. Inside here, you know, that's looking pretty good. Back here, you can kind of fix that up a little bit. Look how this side's looking. So this side looks much better for some reason. But as you can see, I mean, the axles look really clean. Everything's relatively pretty good. This side still in these areas where uh, the inside of the frame looks pretty decent. Can't really get you guys in there. But the inside doesn't look like it's rotted out, which is good. This side you can see. You know, this stuff will clean up, I think, pretty good. But, same thing here. Just all in these spots where there are holes. Doesn't really like that. But the inside doesn't look terrible, which is good. But we're a little bit worse in the back here. But uh, control arms look fine. All the mounting brackets look great. This is the one bad part so I believe it has rusted okay I think it's rusting from the inside there out as, an, as you can see <laughs> there's nothing left there same thing here so if you are looking at Jeeps definitely check here because this area seems to either hold a lot of water or the salt just sits there so that'll be interesting so this will be some something we'll have to look at 
but overall the frame's pretty good. One thing I will be doing is I will be drilling holes in the frame, probably here and here, so that way the water can drain out of the frame, and that way there's some like there's some mud and gunk and stuff in there, so we'll flush the frame out. But uh, other than that, it should be pretty good. Um, just gonna sand all this down. Just gonna sand all this down here, and uh, we'll get it pretty good. So not as bad as I thought. Looks like the springs are pretty rusty, so we'll have to take care of that. But and then we'll also do the fuel tank. But other than that, it looks pretty good under here. Got to wait till it gets warmer here. <clears throat> Still pretty cold here, so I definitely want to wait till it's warm. That way we can really have. Uh, you know, that way the paint can cure and everything like that. So definitely going to be taking a look at that. But uh, also, we need to focus on the windshield hinges. We got to take care of that rust. Not rust, but the paint's peeling off on the mirrors. We're going to fix that up. But other than that, that's pretty much the only rust on the Jeep. Underneath here is... Uh, We're great underneath here. Everything looks pretty good. Brake rotors look a little rusty, but other than that, the whole front of the Jeep looks pretty decent. So, but yeah, so yeah, obviously part of the part of the tub of the Jeep is gone back by those corners there. So, not sure what we're gonna do with that, but we're definitely gonna drill holes in the frame so that way. It, you know, we can get water out of the frame if water ever gets in there, water and mud and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, we'll be working on it once it's warm out here so the paint can cure and we can really, you know, do a nice job sanding and get everything dry and everything like that. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video.